Hey y'all, welcome to Texas Kaiju Fishing. So today we are fishing Lake Fork. It says two more hours you'll die down. Till then we'll just deal with it. But tomorrow should be good and Saturday should be good. That one? Yeah. Nice. About time. There is fish. Yeah, <laughs> found one. Finally. Took an hour. An hour? How long have we been out here? I don't even know. I didn't even know what time we launched. 10 till 4. There's another one in there, huh? No! I just broke off on that kite tech. It's right there in that tree, man. Right there. Oh, that shrub right there. Yeah. What the heck, man? 
Yeah. Hey, did he jerk pretty hard? Heck yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. oh. Thought he had it, it was gone. Spit it out quick. Remember all those buzzers at Lake Daniel? Yeah, they was on the bank. <laughs> coyote come through there or something? Yeah, he was trying to catch one. I don't know if he was trying to catch him or scare him away from whatever they were eating. Yeah. He looked like he was kind of lazy and hungry. Yeah. It was also 100 degrees that day, wasn't it? It was pretty warm. <laughs> Yeah, I was so sunburned. I normally just get dark. I got yeah, I got past the tan stage. <laughs> All the way. Alright. 56 degrees man. They're here, they're here, right? Should be. Had to move all the way to the north. Eight foot too. Wouldn't it be in that mess? Either side of that pin. Had to tie on the A-Rig spinner.
I just right here. You see a little boil? Mm -hmm. Something. Something is right here. Like it just. I have plenty of backups. Oh. We're gonna take a two o'clock break anyways. Two o'clock break? Yeah. What are we gonna do? Go get our stuff moved in and... Oh, what time is it? Oh, you know, I haven't looked at the time. <laughs> it's only noon. If there's ever gonna be a fish, Dude, you tell me there's not gonna be any there? There's gotta be. Went for the fluke to go through. Pull out of the skin house. Three of us. Hey, it's the guys can't catch any fish. They're about to die. Yeah, they're about to kill over. Cold. Oh, oh, just right there. You see right there? The little yeah, yeah that throw right there, Jose. Where? Right there, where where you just saw the little That's not ring. Me. No, that wasn't me. Uh, it's the same guy that told us it was supposed to be Sunday today, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm not even gonna say it. That's why I was like, I'm not even gonna say anything anymore. Not anymore. Dude. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm sleeping on that long, that little long one. Yeah. Got that one. So it has when you go so long without a... <laughs> without a hit. No, like for real, like... You, you're not expecting it anymore. No. Yeah. Got him.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Got him. Get that motherfucker. Here, give me this shit. Got him. Oh, <laughs> nice. Look at that. He ain't going nowhere. Look at that. Yeah. Good shot. Where'd he come from? Under that limb right there. Yeah. I'm this one for that right there. Yeah, I got it on my video. Nice. Day two, baby. One bass. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you gotta weigh in, dude. Give me this. It's caught on here. Oh, man. Yeah, that's good. There we go, boy. Coach, you can, you can fish, man. Don't kick. Did you move it or did you get it on the way down? Uh, I moved it. And then I saw it swimming away and I was like, okay. okay. Yeah. Then I set the hook. Then when I set the hook, it didn't move. I was like, that's a good one. Yeah, water keeps you a Ah, uh, not a PB yet. Four pound, 15 now. Four pound is one. Four pounder. Let me try one more time. Can we all take turns with me? Can we all take turns with me? For real, we could all say we got one. Yeah, four pound. Four pounder. Let me take a picture. Yeah. Well, your bass don't really fucked up, man. Dude, it's got some sharp teethers. Yeah. Oh man, and the camera was rolling. Oh, it took all morning, man. <laughs> I didn't get you on camera, dude. On oh, my bad. Nobody needs to see that. Jose caught a dink. But. Is that one? Are you just excited? Are you just excited? He's getting excited. This blood pressure's through the roof right now. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even feel laid down. They're gonna let me drive? Yeah. Uh, my blood pressure's up. I don't care, you still drive. Oh, See, I'm I'm there. there's a log. <laughs> Remember that time I kept saying it was bluegill? Yeah. He goes, That's all we've been saying, it's a log. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I got stuck. Talking shit <laughs> over here. Oh. I don't even know what I'm stuck on. I don't know. It's way out here. It's gotta be a bluegill. bluegill. I'm stuck on a bluegill. I don't want to break this off either. I only got two of these. Dang, damn it. Popped it. No, I lost it. Am I ever gonna catch like more than one fish on the lure before I lose it? Oh, that's a big one. Oh wow, a turtle, really? Look the other way. That realistic twitch, man. That realistic twitch. 
That turtle's like Oh, that. you got him in the shell. Hey, <laughs> Jose, you like the, you like that ass in your face? I bet I wouldn't stand there. You good, bro? You good, man? Oh yeah, just take a seat. <laughs> I've been standing up. I've been in the water. Yeah. Fish on. Oh! Oh, you did have him. Oh, man. Golly. The coach jumped right back in on top of him. <laughs> Golly, man. He even ran with it. Dude, he's got that weak ass hook set. Well, I don't want to come flying it back at either one of y'all either. <laughs> <laughs> well, we thank you, and the ship's really thank you. Yeah. yeah. It didn't like you know. It didn't feel like a fish, and then it ran to the side. And I was like, "Oh shit!" He felt heavy because he was under them weeds too. The weed came out with it. Ooh. Yeah, I got a nibble right there. James, if I take your eye out, man, I'm sorry. Okay. Golly, that's two, man. I should have caught... That should have... Ooh. All right, man, let's try to get some fish day three. You going with the fluke, eh? I will. You wrong? That's a stump. And it's gone. That was quick. You want that off? Yeah. You don't want to see it sitting there. <laughs> Damn, dude. Man. <laughs> well, that swim, swim jig didn't last long, huh? Tie another one on in a minute. So after that quick sacrifice to the Lake Fork spirits, we decided to just go along this bank that was right next to where we launched because it looked good. We got there at eight. It's already been a whole hour of sunshine beating it up, so it warmed it up to 58 degrees. In our heads, we're thinking, this is it. This is a spot. This is where we're going to catch some fish. And we're going to catch numbers of them. We were absolutely wrong. We really underestimated this cold front that just devastated the entire lake. I'm talking about 10 degree drop, according to some of the locals we talked to. They said the water temps were 64, 63-ish until that cold front hit. And it was a cold front with plenty of rain that raised the entire water level of the lake three inches. And so what that did was drop it by 10 degrees. That Friday, the coldest we documented the water being was 51 degrees. And so on this day, which is Saturday morning, it was finally in the low high 50s. It was 58, 57 ish. And we thought, okay, now they're gonna be active. 
absolutely freaking wrong. So as you can see, everything here looks juicy. You're going to think there's a bass. You know there should be a bass, and there's absolutely no bass. We were infuriated. We were frustrated. We couldn't understand why they weren't where they should be, especially this time of year is springtime. They should be spawning. They should be on the banks, you know, bedding, or at least actively feeding to get ready to bed. And it was just dead. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to keep fishing. You're going to hope for the best. Next cast is always the big catch. So just keep casting. And we worked our way along this bank until we all got tired of not catching anything. And then we moved the boat on to a new spot. Got one? Nice. <gasps> what happened? Throw it in the damn water. I don't know. Yeah. What happened right there? Did you see it? Yeah, he ran. That, right? He ran with it for a while. And then you, I guess your hook says it's not that. Are you on our team or what? <sighs> Come on, man. He he got he got halfway to the boat with a without a hook in him. Oh, I'm done. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> Shit. Fuck him with that plastic cord. It was on that stump. Was it? Yeah, because I hit that stump and then I was like. Then it ran, yeah. It ran towards the boat. Throwing it on that slow ass reel, man. What is that? Five to one gear ratio. <laughs> oh, that's the robot one. That's the one that. Yeah. <laughs> so after the coach missed on that fish, we packed up and moved over under a bridge into a really nice looking cove. Look at all of those grass mats. This is the greenest grass we found all weekend. We figured, okay. Green healthy grass means oxygen, means bait fish, means big fish. And we finally worked to a spot that wasn't overly crowded. And we thought, okay, we're going to catch some fish now. <laughs> Again, absolutely dead wrong. When we made this move, we noticed it dropped four degrees from where we started this morning. It went from 58 to 54 degree water and at the same time we started working our way up this bank we see five or six tournament anglers bail out and you know that's a red flag when they're bailing out in, in boat loads like that and so you know we're pretty stubborn we're like man it took us a while to get back here the whole thing about lake fork a lot of submerged timber we really didn't speed anywhere you know, we idled pretty much for the most part throughout the, whenever we had to move a spot. So it, it took time to move to a new spot. And it, it just, it was one of those deals where well, we're here already, let's fish it. Let's troll, up this, let's troll up this bank and try to see if we can get a fish out of here. We didn't get a single bite out of this bank. Look at it. We saw a dead catfish at one point but we didn't get a single bite this entire time working this grassy matted bank. And we were throwing multiple lures. You know, you had the hammer, he was throwing the fluke and the juice, the baby brush hog. You had the coach, Mr. Wacky, he was wacky rigging and I was throwing a jig, I was throwing a swim bait and I even threw an underspin. So we were trying multiple lures to figure out if there was any kind of a pattern, nothing. Again, what are you gonna do? Oh well, you're there, keep fishing. After about 40 minutes, we gave up on that first bank we started on and we, we went around this matted island Look at it. Absolutely just look at it. Tell me why there wasn't a fish on it. <laughs> I mean, come on. 
we kept working our way around this island and if you see over there in the top right hand corner there's even a beaver dam come on man so we just again keep fishing keep fishing every cast i kept believing that i was going to pull a fish up and you know oh well um we eventually finished off this island and then four more four more boats came out the back we talked to one of them said hey man any luck absolutely zero fish and we we're like okay so everyone's struggling and it was really unlucky of the, of the coach not catching that one fish he he missed on so we decided hey man let's pack it up go get some lunch and then we'll we'll start again from where we're renting that airbnb and see if we have any luck this afternoon with the water getting warmer hack attack but really that's really they catch a lot of something like that yeah. Yeah. I never had trouble with a Yozuri copolymer. You had missed a fish today. No, neither of us. Oh, oh, oh we well, can't say that, right? Somebody, no, somebody has missed a fish today. I was about to say neither of us has. Oh, you knew you hadn't. Well, pretty active in our We're shooting 100%, aren't we? <laughs> Two hours to get one? <laughs> oh, finally. Where'd she come off of? I still can't believe how shallow that fish I caught came out of. Made no sense. Yeah. I need help, man. Oh, wait, get it out. <laughs> Holy moly! Oh my god, like I'm not recording. <laughs> not recording? Yeah, I just turned it on. It's alright, dude. Oh. <sighs> Damn, those, te those teeth those teeth were. Yeah, right there off that stump. Right there's there. a log. Yeah. Good job. Oh, he was pegged, man. You wanna get this fucking monster pig? Dude, I tried to lift that thing. Oh. <laughs> Too much. 
Oh, I gotta back you up. Gotta wear that shit, dude. Of course. Oh, Lee, look at that, y'all. We've been grinding it. That's a pig. Let me weigh it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, it pulled drag. I was like, oh shit, that's big. <laughs> Tail. Dude, that's a, that thing is massive, bro. That's a PB. It's got to be a PB. Yeah. Yep, PB. What do you got? Six seven. Damn. Six seven. Six seven. Woo, let me wait one more time. Why are you waiting? That's six seven. Might get bigger. <laughs> yeah. Six seven. New PB. Woo. Coach. That is a coach. Picture. You want to open another picture? Yeah. Oh, let me get one selfie and then you can take another one, please. Hey, you can come out of the shade. Yes. 57 degrees. He's laid up in the shade. That's what they're saying, right? Here. Oh. Well, I'll do that. Yeah. Just text it to me. Let me back up. Good. All right. PB, y'all. Wasn't recording when I set the hook, but. Uh. Now we know there's fish. Just six pounds. Just six fish. Woo! Oh, man. That's a six and a four. That's a 10 pound total for me. Shit, I'd be juiced up if I was in a tournament. <laughs> that one actually might have been able to be a keeper, right? Uh, I don't know. PB, man. Woo! And then you you just had you just ran your fluke over that. Yeah. Holy smokes! I saw the hook in the side of the mouth. Like, oh shit, it's not a good hook. So. <laughs> like oh fuck it's taking drag this is big <laughs> oh good thing i didn't have my drag cinch down wait did i yeah i did they're fucking massive they'll take it dude as long as your line can hold it well i gotta think the 15 pound <laughs> there's a 15 pound red label cigar and then Power pole. Power braid. Power braid, 65 pound test. Bro. Look like it was years to go to the TV on the first. Just playing, having a good time. Let's see. I'm hungry. Oh, on the fish, though. On the fish? Nice. First, second cast. God damn. Crazy. You gonna play the drag or you gonna try to wrench it in? Oh, the good one. Red Craw. Play him. Why you been throwing crank? Because he, I used to tell him he's a one trick pony with the cranks. Well, time to pull and out the trick. Isn't it? <laughs> second cast, coach. That second one? Yeah. Nice, that's a good there's fish. A he's about four. Oh, four damn trouble. Wow. So no skunk. Water, no skunk. Good shit, man. Oh, 
Good fish. What brand? What? Oh, 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 oh. Are you taking over again? What brand crank? Berkeley. Berkeley? Man, he's, he's got sponsorships. <laughs> so there y'all go. Three days of fishing Lake Fork after a cold front. Talk about tough, man. And later we come to find out the tournament, the winning weight for that tournament was eight pounds. So it wasn't just us. Everyone was struggling. It was a tough bite after a severe cold front just kills the spawn. Oh, well, still caught my PB 6.7. What a rush. You know, they always say that next cast at Lake Ford could be that w double digit bass. I wasn't really chasing the double digit bass. I just wanted a big one, something to break my PB, and it happened. Uh, it was a good time. A lot of, a lot of talking. You know, boat talk. You know, jokes here and there. It was a good, good, uh, good three days. Even though we didn't catch the amount of fish we wanted to catch. Um, here we are, just you know, finishing out the evening. Sun setting pretty fast. James is about to hook up two more times here in, in a quick bit. But, you know, hopefully y'all enjoyed that. Try to condense it to as short as possible. You know, it is three full days of fishing, and I, I think I got it under an hour. Uh, I'll put timestamps at the bottom. That way you know where to fast forward and look for the fish catches. Well, until next time, I hope y'all enjoyed this. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it. Y'all take it easy. Are you okay over here, bro? <laughs> Misfire? <laughs> Got him. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, my goodness. That's a big one. You got it? Yeah. Damn, they are hitting the chartreuse, aren't they? Oh, the short yeah. Oh, you had the juice. I've been juicing. You've been juicing it. Yeah, right. Ever since we come into the room. You've been juicing it? Yeah. That was cranking. He cut that one with the crank. Want to get a weight on it? We just got to make sure you beat Coach. Beat Coach. I don't think I did. Didn't think it was a race. It's not. Coach, look at this. It's a six pounder, man. Look at that. Six pounder. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> he looked under your arm. Yeah. Is it that? Almost four. 3.8. Really? Yeah. That's good. Coach, you want to take a picture with it and pretend it's yours? Yeah. Here you go, man. What's the guy that does that? Hey. You didn't notice that? What? Yeah. See how kind I was, Coach? I said, here, you go to make one cast. Yeah, he didn't hit it. And then I threw over here and caught him with this. Nah. Ain't no setting up. Just, yeah.
He's built different. You got the crank or the wacky? Oh, I thought you weren't throwing it anymore. Cabbage. Got it? <laughs> you better retie after all that. Check if it's frayed. Copoly P line. Pop line. I guess just don't use ten pounders. If you're don't use ten up. pound or pop 10 line. Pound. <laughs> Was no drag loose. <laughs> just out of damn stumps. Yeah, yeah. You probably don't want ten pound. Deep are we? Is it really ten? No, no way. I don't know. Thirteen, twelve, thirteen. You would like the beach floor? Like to be close to the shallow. Well, that was right there. That could have been what four feet deep, maybe. I mean, my trolling motor hit on that dock, yeah, right on that there. slab. Right here's. We got ten. Ten right now. Time to get the water seat. There's one right here. Grab the rubber. One what? Let's find out. Where? Floating? Maybe. He's out here juicing it. Should probably get him tested for the juice. <laughs> you ever throw the speed crawl at Leon? No, I never thought I had him. I just, I always liked him. Uh-huh. I don't think I've ever caught a crawfish, like a craw, fish with a craw. I have caught an actual crawfish with a Senko. Have you really? Yeah, that was hilarious. Got him. Ooh! 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 It's a little bluegill. I hope you. God dang, it's a big ass bluegill. Like that. Dude, that thing Dude look at that. Good bluegill, James. Damn juice, man. <laughs>
the juice. Out fishing the seven inch worm and the crank and the wacky. I'm about to crank right through that. I'm about to put the juice on mid size. You're about to crank along this bank. Yeah. He pulled hard. Yeah, they're there. It's just we had to wait for the damn water temp. We finally caught some dinks. A dink, a bluegill.